Hello there, and welcome to another exciting episode of Kosher Vids. Yeah. <whistles> Today we're going to be discussing Kiddush Levana stereotypes. Yeah. Now what's funny is that usually my stereotypes are not so stereotypical. But who really cares? Because if you just use your brains and imagination, we can do anything and have a great time. So let's do it. Kiddush Levana stereotypes. You know, Kiddush Levana could sometimes be a very disappointing mitzvah. Because think about it. You know, you hear this announcement, Kiddush Levana, you're all excited, you go outside, you take your cereal, you look up at the sky, and it's cloudy. Bummer. But you know something? There's always one guy that never gets disappointed, and that's because for some reason the clouds never come a thing. And his tail has it. What they do is they... Actually, you know, maybe I shouldn't say it, but let's take a look. Josh. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, I don't think so either, Gerald. We came here last night and there was a perfect moon. We should have done it then. I think we should head home. I think so too. Hey guys, the Levana's covered. I don't know if tonight's night for Kiddush Levana. You should probably head home. Excuse me. The rebels do. Handkerchief! Sugar! Have a good night. No, no, wait. You know, Kiddush Levano really puts your social skills to the test. I mean, think about it. It's not that easy to go over to three random people, introduce yourself, and say, Shalom Aleichem. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to think way in advance who I'm going to say Shalom Aleichem to and that I'll be comfortable with. Some people don't feel comfortable at all and are frozen the whole time thinking to themselves, oh my gosh, uh, I don't think I'm weird or this and that. And some people just take a little bit too long, like this guy. This mitzvah was not created for introverts. Oh. Okay, lots of people. Lots of people. Whoa! He's getting really close to me. They're up to Shalom Aleichems. Not to Shalom Aleichems. What am I going to do? Okay. I got this. I'm going to get my act together. I'm going to count to three, open my eyes, and say Shalom Aleichem to the first person. One, two, three. Okay. This guy doesn't look too bad. Not happening. It's my Rebbe from second grade. That was awkward. Okay, I got this. I'm literally just gonna open up my eyes and say Shalom Aleichem to the next person. One, two, three, go. Oh no, it's the police from second grade. No way! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, I got this. Come on, I'm literally gonna give everything I got. Scrunch your eyes. Let's go. Three, two, one. Shalom Aleichem! We'll try again next month. You know, this one always bothered me because in my days we always said Kish Levan in an alleyway and there were cars that used to come by all the time and there were some people that would not move out of the way of a car because they're doing a mitzvah and you say, hello, oh, there's a car, it's a chalashem. Doing a mitzvah, be quiet. Uh, excuse me? There's a car, it's a chalashem. You know, it just really bugged me out. Let's take a look at this. Gerald, slow down. You're going way too fast. 
Gloria, what did I tell you? Just focus on your knitting and let me do the driving. Yanko, there's a car coming. No! But Gerald, you're going really fast and someone's up on the road ahead. Gloria, you're seeing things again. We're gonna have to get you an appointment to the eye doctor. Yanko, we should really get out of the road. No! Gerald, I really think I see somebody up ahead. You're not seeing nobody, you're just seeing things. Yanko's a chalashem, they're trying to get by. I'm a chalashem? If anything, he's a chalashem! I'm not moving. I'm doing a mitzvah. Gerald, I really think we hit something. Gloria, I think you need to get your ears checked too, not just your eyes. But Gerald, I really think we hit something. You don't see anyone, Gloria. Gerald, there's a little boy under the car. Shalom Aleichem. Yeah, he's probably playing hide and go seek or something. Gerald. You know the guy that like mysteriously never shows up to Kiddush Levana and you're not sure why? You might want to think twice before you force him to come. And here's why. Oh, and uh, warning. This may be pretty disturbing for some, but don't watch it and then complain that I didn't warn you because I did. Avi, you sure we're going the right way? It's very creepy outside. Yeah, we've been walking for 10 minutes already. Guys, trust me, we're in the right area. This is it. Finally. Velvo! No, don't come in! Velvo, there you are! What's the matter with you? For 10 years you lived in this community. You come to every single tefillah. But for some reason you can't make it to Kiddo Shavana? What's the matter with you? No, there's no way I'm coming. Velvo, the Vad of Minneapolis, Rabunin, has decided. We are taking you whether you like it or not. Wait, you can't force me. Think again. No! You can't do this to me! Put me down! I need the bathroom badly. Make it quick. Don't forget a brocha. Oh, my God, that there's no third level of all and she must be fast motion for the oil to melt him to my mouth. Do a thumbs up, subscribe. Subscribe. Can you smile a little more? Try it again. Subscribe.